does this bottle art hack really works? How many of you were wondering same thing seeing this trick on the Pinterest board? Painting a tree with a bottle? I thought about it probably a thousand times. Best way is to grab some acrylic paints and find out this together. Let's do it. Let's paint a tree with a bottle. I'm gonna start as you can see with the black uh, acrylic paint and this is just Crayola project and my other color will be this pink uh, from Tiger paint so cheap paints um, for you to use and I'm gonna start off right away to uh, paint off my tree basically this is our uh, start to paint and to create a base for our stamping uh, idea for our blossom tree um, as I said to you, I've tried it, I've seen it uh, probably <laughs> more than anything and I always wondered, is it really that easy as it looks on the photo? <laughs> so uh, today I thought, let's just try it, let's just see how this is gonna be. Uh, I'm very curious myself and since I do like sharing tricks and tips and ideas for easy paintings maybe at the same time, nothing too complicated. Um, I thought that checking this hack will be really really good and probably in a good use for you since we do love Pinterest, don't we? And we are <laughs> addicted from Pinterest, some of us anyway. I'm gonna grab some water. Um, and now time for pink. I have this small bottle for my stamp. Um, you can try a bigger if you wish. It's up to yourself. Um, I'm going to stick with my smallish bottle. And I think this will look nice. Well, <laughs> I hope anyway. I just need my paint to be a little bit more spreaded maybe. So that way it will be easier for me to uh, put my bottle on top of that and stamp from it. So I want to make sure that I have enough paint all over and that way, wow! <laughs> Looks like that so far, which is quite interesting and good. And let's, ju <laughs> let's just stamp, let's just stamp. Mm, okay, okay. I do believe that maybe if my paint would be more watery, it would work better. Shall we try that uh, if it's a bit more watery? I have some other acrylic paint which is more waterish. As you can see, it's moving itself. So what I will do, I'm gonna clean my bottle and I will try to maybe do it on a separate page. How is that? Maybe that will be better if I'll just do it once more on a piece of paper that is clean and let's let's try again. So in theory I could say no it's not working <laughs> the way as I wish but I think I should wait and give it a give it a chance maybe wiggle wiggle I'm not really bothered with the shape of my tree and so 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 do you it's more of a fun idea technique rather than professional painting great uh, painting for kids I think kids art um, and for us to have fun for a change and always from uh, paintings for from videos like this you always gain something interesting for yourself and then you share your ideas how you could take it to a different level what you could add and stuff like that so it's nice to then hear your opinions okay let's see if this will uh, if this will be any better well yeah it looks already better mm -hmm. so there we go ah, yes it does look better I believe it really does <laughs> and nice isn't it I'll show you the other one in comparison in two seconds in two seconds my pink is not that pinkish pink but that's okay I love that <laughs> and it does work it does the trick 
it really does the trick as it's supposed to so that's <laughs> that's a win-win situation because this should be what it's here do you know what it could be absolutely fabulous and great idea for a card let me grab some card for you um, I think we can do a extremely quick card a thank you card look at this how fun this could be and how pretty so here is our thank you stamp beautiful now <laughs> and maybe I do opposite instead of doing stem first I'm gonna do flowers first and maybe I grab a different color mm, I have some blue maybe we try a blue one why not and can you see? No, I'm gonna move that for you so you can see it. There we go. And let's try <laughs> and let's see. I think this is a super beautiful idea for a card. Well, at least I hope it is. Oh, that didn't do the job, right? Okay. What about here? Mm -hmm, not so much. What if we come back to our pink and just do this and this? That's not too bad, not too bad, I believe. And what we can do is we can just have a little bit of doodling and maybe here as well and have a little card when everything is dry you can doodle more if you wish I'm pretty sure you can agree with me that this trick with bottle does work we need some liquidish paint so our stamp will be more visible than that as you can see here is perfectly beautiful and you can experiment make some cards make some doodle with it uh, do some art with your kids grandkids with the uh, kids in the kindergarten maybe with some older people uh, I think it's a fun uh, fun painting fast and super easy for everyone and definitely to just relax and enjoy and do something sometimes silly um, we cannot be serious all the time I hope you had a good time with me I hope this uh, trying uh, this hack was enjoyable and helpful for you uh, and yes I hope you will join me next time for a new video so thank you so much bye bye bye